Hey guys, it's Beano. Welcome back to Pokemon Blue. In the last part, we uh, got cut, and we... Oh no, we didn't. Uh, however, we cleared out uh, Route 11. There's a Hyper Potion here. I actually missed that. Uh, uh, grab that Hyper Potion, because it's kind of cool. Oh, actually, i got to clear out my inventory, don't I? How many items do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Oh, no, I'm good. Ah, uh, but yeah. You want to watch your inventory. Also, by the way, I'm actually going to catch a Pokemon. Because, oh, come, no, oh, I don't need a Spearow. I need one I haven't gotten. Uh, by the way, one thing I greatly appreciate about later generations is that it puts a little icon next to a Pokemon that you have caught already. Uh, only wild Pokemon, but... As in, as in it will only mark it next to wild Pokemon, but then again, that's actually nice. I need to find a Pokemon that I haven't seen before, or that I haven't caught, which basically means not Sparrow. Sand Shrew, that's actually a pretty good choice. By the way, I just want to note this. Vine Whip... Uh, according to, um... Ah, oh, I'm a bit unprofessional. Hold on, jump cut. Okay. Uh, Vine Whip has 10 PP in this game. It has 15 in later generations, but it's got 10 PP in this game. It has a power of 35. Razor Leaf has a power of 55. And it also has the chance of, uh... Of, um... Oh, so sorry, it has a higher critical chance. And in this game, that basically means it's 8 times more effective of hitting critical hits. Guess how much PP it has? 25! What the heck? Yeah, Razor Leaf is incredibly stronger than Vine Whip. Um, I kept Vine Whip just because I needed a backup grass type move and, you know, Leech Seed isn't good at... Oh, snap, I, I, can't, I can't do this. Um, actually, go to, go to Bugaboom. I'll put him to sleep and then I'll try catching him. Because I feel like I, I might kill him. With Confusion. Actually, I, I'll, I'll use Confusion and we'll see what happens. I don't want to kill him. Yes! Because I, I knew Bugaboom's not that strong. Um, yeah, for some odd reason... Also, yeah, there, there you go, Sleep Powder. Yep, I'm going to catch him now. Anyway, you may be wondering how come I'm ca- Oh, Potion. You may be wondering why am I catching a Sandshrew? He's not one of my team's Pokemon. One, he will be kind of handy in the future. I will, wanna, I will want to keep him around. He is level 15, so he's a bit on the low side right now, but he's not that bad right now. Uh, I will call him... Uh... I will call him... Schroeder. It's not Schroeder, it's more so leaning to Shredder, but... Okay, what? Whatever. You get your reference. Um. Anyway, uh, so I caught that mainly because if we look at our trainer card, uh, no. If we look at our Pokédex, it now says I've owned ten Pokémon. It's highly recommended that you own ten Pokémon by this point in the game. Also, we're going to Diglett Cave. Um. What a surprise! Diglett's dug this long tunnel. It goes right to Viridian City. No, it doesn't. It goes to Route Two, which is actually on the first step. Lovely. Uh, anyway, this cave, there's a 95% chance of finding a Diglett, and a 5% chance of finding Dugtrio, which is actually kind of nice. Um, Dugtrio, uh, uh, is the evolution of Diglett. He evolves at level 26. Again, he's very fast, and he's got, he's actually, at this very moment, you can catch, when you catch Dugtrio, he's very high level. Here's a tip, by the way, uh, use the Repel, and wave around like a level 22 Pokemon or something. Uh, because a Repel only blocks Pokemon that are less level than the Pokemon at the front of your party. Um, Doug Trios are like level 25 or something. They are very strong right now. It's actually it's, it's actually kind of crazy. Um, Doug Trio does have a low HP stat, but honestly, he's pretty good. I on the list of gr ground types, I know Sandshrew kind of is better, but if you're playing Red, Doug Trio is a good choice. Uh, of course you can catch a Diglett and evolve him. I mean, he only evolves at level 26. And we saw a level 22 Diglett in here, so... He's not that strong. By the way, there is nothing to grab. At all. It's a bit boring. I recommend using Repel. Because then you keep finding Diglets. 
This is probably the best training grounds as well, because one, you can guarantee what every Pokemon is, basically. Uh, and you can also, uh, they're not that bad. He went to Rock Tunnel. If only a Pokemon with Flash could light up. I wish we got Flash, and then you get dumped off here. Yes. Yes, right here. Yeah, we're on Route 2. Hey! I like how it says it drops you off in Viridian City, even though you're closer to Pewter, technically. Uh, you do need Cut, though. You will need Cut to escape from here, technically. A faint Pokemon can't fight, but it can still use moves like Cut. Yeah, that's, that's basically telling you that if a Pokemon has fainted, you can still use for... Also, this guy will trade an Abra for a Mr. Mine. Uh, you can still use a Pokemon's uh, HM moves outside the battle. For example, if I send out the Farfetch and it died immediately, I can still use Cut outside of battle. This guy will trade... Uh, you can trade him an Abra for a for a Mr. Mime. I think I can't remember if you can catch an Abra. Mr. Mime actually is a decent choice. Um, he has a very good special stat, and he does learn Substitute, which is an extremely good move at level 47. It's a bit late, but hey, if you're gonna use him for the Elite Four, hey, uh, you're gonna, you know, that's good. Uh, his HP and attack is a little bit low, but it's his attack. Who cares? <laughs> Who cares? He's psychic type. He's really strong anyway. Ah, uh, we're gonna put, we're gonna cut with ducks. Cut with ducks. Anyway, if you keep heading down here, you'll find yourself here. Once a Pokemon learns Flash, you can get through Rock Tunnel. They keep reminding you about Rock Tunnel, by the way. Uh, Rock Tunnel is the next. Oh, Professor Rock's eight. If you call ten types of Pokemon, he's supposed to give you HMO five. Yes. This is why I wanted to catch 10 kinds of Pokemon. Not because I wanted Sandshrew, but because I need Flash. I, I mean, you don't technically need Flash. It's actually extremely optional. Extremely optional, yep. Uh, first of all, you can find yourself a HP up here, which is actually kind of nice. By the way, HP up increases your HP of your Pokemon by 1. And also, you can get a Moonstone here, which is kind of nice. Uh, and if you keep going down, you can't really keep going down, but... Uh, you can basically make it so you can skip Viridian Forest entirely, because past that, um, past that kind of gateway, you can, we're now at Viridian City, which is actually very nice. Uh, it's actually, I'm saying actually so much. It is ridiculous. Um, but yeah, uh, now there is one thing, there are a couple of things I want to do, and I'm actually going to speed up through this. Uh, so I'll... Maybe not here, because... Unless if I find a wild Pokemon right here. Nope, I'm good. Here's something that I seem to miss out on. Talk to her. Blue's mum gives you the town map. Once you get the errand from Oak. I talked to her before, she didn't give me it. Uh, the town map basically lets you look at a map whenever you want. Every other game, it's not a, uh, well, technically it is, but... Oh, not Gold and Silver. Gold and Silver is part of the Poke Gear, but every other game, it is an item. Uh, however, it is a key item. One thing I love about Gold and Silver, key items are not in your inventory! It's great! Seriously, I get so annoyed, uh, playing this game in particular, because... Because stuff like key items, stuff like your fossil... Actually, your fossil probably would count as an item. Stuff like, um... Keys in latest places, stuff like HMs, <laughs> they count towards your total item count, and it gets very annoying. Also, by the way, I don't know wh who in my party can learn Flash, so I'm gonna look it up right now. Just before I get a Pokemon that um that can learn Flash, and by the way, I've I've planned this out, so it's all good. Just before I get a Pokemon that can learn Flash, I'm actually going to head up here. And if you go over here, to the back of the museum, you can actually use Cut on this, um... On this, uh... Twig thing. And if you go inside, you'll be in the back of here. Two fossils! It's an amber! So anyway, you're supposed to take this to a Pokemon lab, yeah. 
and it gives you the old amber. Nope. It's tree sap. That's, <laughs> that's actually what amber is, basically. It's very nice looking, actually. It, it looks like a rock, but it's not. It's just tree sap. But it's very pretty, and thankfully it is kind of malleable. Uh, so yeah. It's, it's not that expensive. So yeah, uh, I will heal up because the Diglett is kind of... Sorry, the Diglett, jeez! The, um... The Sancher is a little bit weak. And I will see you back at Cerulean City, of all places, yeah. Um, by the way, don't go through Mount Moon. Diglett Tunnel is better than Mount Moon. What Pokemon knows got? This one. Yeah, trust me, trust me, don't go through Mount Moon. <laughs> It gets so annoying. I would prefer the Diglett Cave. Anyway. We'll be in Cerulean. Okay, now we're back at Cerulean City. Um, so... You're actually supposed to go up, back up to Cerulean City. Because you can't go into Saffron. You can't go east. And there's nowhere else to go. So... What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to head up north. Yeah, north. What is this? Okay. By the way, that guy is gone. He is gone. And I am going to sit here until I find... Not Bellsprout. That would have been great if he came, if the guy I was looking for came up first, but no. He only has a 15% chance, except you can see who, who the only guy with a 15% chance has on the side. I'm looking for an Abra! Metapod! So yeah. I'm looking for an Abra. Okay, so I'll catch you and then I'll see you guys later. Oh, sweet Abra, Abra. Now here's the tricky part about Abra. Oh, I should be. Oh, I should have Butterfree out. You want to throw your ball at it right away. Oh, dang it. Because the only move he knows is teleport. See, that's what teleport does. Well, let's, hopefully I can use Sleep Powder on him right away. Because one, that will help with catching. Two, that will basically stop him from teleporting. Ah, oh, sweet Abra. <laughs> Abra. Okay, come on, Sleep Powder, work. Yes. Okay, good, he's asleep. That should give me a couple of turns, which I can throw balls at him. Also, I, I better restock on Pokeballs, man. I better <laughs> get rid of items. Yes! Okay, Abra is a little bit tricky to catch. I recommend you do use a Sleep Powder. Uh, he is a Gangnam-style Pokemon. I shall call him... I, the, he's not a permanent member, I can call him whatever I want. Ah, you see what I did there. <laughs> okay. Now, basically, this is why I caught him. Because if I scroll down... And by the way, I'm gonna put Cut and, uh, and Flash into the box, because I'm not gonna need him. Hey, he's like one of the very few Pokemon that can learn Flash. I believe Drowsy can also learn Flash. But other than that, you're kind of stuffed for Pokemon that can learn Flash. Or I guess the starters. No, the starters can't even learn as well. This is surprising. There's a surprising number of Pokemon that they actually made Flash available to. Flash is a pretty bad move as well. The other three HMs I think are all right moves, but there's only five in the game. But these first two, they're just kind of like uh, painfully bad. Oh. Alright, so so let's suit up. Load him and get to work. Anyway, let's use this computus. Okay, so you may notice that now we have six Pokemon in inventory, which uh, does mean that we are unable to, or we can't catch more. 
But the problem with catching more is that, uh... By the way, SS Ticket, you don't need it ever... Oh, gosh sakes. I may have a virus on my computer, but something was trying to shut down a VAS just then. And it made the screen go all black. I was just like, Aah! Okay. Um... I'm gonna keep my bicycle, I'm gonna get rid of the hyper potions, I'm not gonna need those hyper potions, I'm not gonna need... He puts you at the beginning of the list every time! Oh, now I'm on edge. I'm gonna keep the escape rope. Keep your escape rope. You'll need it. Uh, and flash. And the town map, I don't need the town map. Uh, and the old amber. You won't need the old amber for a while, in fact you don't need it until like the end of the game. But the problem, uh, well not the problem, but the thing with this game is that you can kinda jump around to sections. Uh, especially once you get Surf, you can basically explore the rest of the game. Granted, I think that's at the end of the game. Uh, but once you pick up Surf, you can basically go wherever you want. And it's not that difficult getting Surf. Uh, so anyway, yeah. Now, I know, I think the part's on like 10 minutes right now. Maybe longer, I don't, I don't know. Because I, I, I am definitely editing stuff out, but I don't exactly know how much I'm editing out. Uh, we're going to proceed on... Just one more route, uh, because I do feel like I haven't really done anything this part. So anyway, first thing you need, you need to cut, because it's Schroeder. I am actually going to put Schroeder up here, because uh, yeah. uh, I do have Bugaboom out front, I will... You know what, I'm going to put Bubba out front. By the way, you know how I said a while ago, oh, actually, I, 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 I'll talk about that later. I am stuttering so much. I'm just like... <laughs> you can come back here, by the way. I know it looks like you jump off a cliff, but you can climb back up. Uh, so anyway, yeah. So we are in Route 9 right now. Route 9 does have a few trainers. Not a lot. But a few. Also, I still don't think they expected you to no cut by now. But you... Oh, actually... Misty gives you cut, doesn't she? Yeah, Misty gives you cut. So technically, technically you can come here after you finish the SSN. Yeah, you can come here after you finish the SSN. Now, I'm going to train Bubba for one reason. <laughs> one reason. Uh, by the way, the next gym is a grass type. However, however, as I keep saying, yeah, you don't need to beat Lieutenant, Su uh, Lieutenant Surge. You don't need to beat Erika, who's the next gym leader. You can jump straight over to Koga, and in fact, you can probably fight Sabrina before, maybe? I don't know. I don't know if you can do that, but, like, the, yeah, the gyms don't really do anything. Normally, the gyms give you a HM, uh, give the ability to use a move outside of battle, which allows you to progress on by overcoming an obstacle. In this game, it doesn't really happen. I mean, you could do Cut right now, but, for example, Brock knows Flat. Uh, Brock teaches you Flash. Flash does nothing. You'll see, you'll see why it's kind of handy, but it's not really necessary. Uh, I can't remember what game makes Flash terrible, uh, as, as in very necessary, because this game, it's okay, actually. Uh, so yeah. Uh, by the way, this person has two Bell Sprouts and two Oddershy. Oddershay? Oddershoe? Oddershow? So yeah, but you may notice, I'm level 30! They're level 18! The strongest Pokémon, uh, strongest trainer in this route is a level 23 and that's the very last one <laughs> this is ridiculously easy route and I have a terrible indenting problem with my thingo but I'm not gonna bask on it too much hey look at item there is a hidden item by the way but I'll tell you when we get there do do Great, I was bored there! I was bored! I was bored game! I was bored game! It's a hiker! Hiker, no hiking! Well, actually, he is hiking, I guess, but... He's got a Machop! Yeah, it's kind of weird why they use Machop. Anyway, now you get to see Razor Leaf in action! What's the odds that this is going to be a critical hit? Very high! Actually, I, um, I'm just gonna type something, uh, but, yeah, freaking, yeah, so, I was saying, um, yeah, I get it, I get it, it's an Onyx, so anyway, so as I was saying, uh, like a few parts ago, uh, critical hit chance in this game is different to other games, uh, and not, not as in Blue specifically, but Generation 1, 
It's basically your Pokemon's base stat divided by 512. Unless if it's a move that is specifically increases the critical chance rate, in which case it's divided by 64. Now... Now, 64. So many Pokemon have above 64 speed. Ivysaur has 60 speed. 60 divided by 64, that's about 92.3% critical chance with Razor Leaf. I mean, the fastest Pokemon in Gen 1 is apparently Electrode with 140. So that means that generally he'll get about 23% chance critical hit. Oh, thank you. That, that's that's me, yes. So yeah, Electrode can get a 23% chance of critical hits on all of its attacks, by the way. Um, however, with, a, uh, with an increasing critical hit chance move, any Pokemon with above 60 speed, which basically means I think the slowest one is like Lapras or Horsey, or something like that. Farfetch'd! Farfetch'd! has 60 speed, or more 64 speed technically, so Flareon, uh, Vaporeon, Vulpix, etc. Have so much, but uh, you know what, I should have used Razor Leaf. One, because it has more, it has more power. Two, it's got the stab. Three, it's critical hit anyway. By the way, critical hits do double damage. So basically, doing Razor Leaf now is so much stronger than anything. So yeah, I have a 92% chance of getting this. Uh, by the way, if your uh, speed is... Also, yeah, it's a Charmander. Hey, it's a Charmander for once. Um, by the way, if your speed stat is above 64 and you do use a move that... Um, you, if you do mo use a move that has an increased critical hit chance... Um, yeah, like, look at that. Look at that. I, I'm not even caring that it's not effective. It's going to do so much more damage than Tackle. Uh, also, I'm, I'm evolving next level, so yay. Okay. Um, but yeah, if if you have more than 64 speed, uh, base speed, that is, um, and you use a move that has a higher critical hit chance, it almost works. It actually has a 255 out of 256 chance, no matter, no matter how high your speed is. I wake up early every day. I wake up at 6.15 a.m. Now you know when my alarm goes off. Hey. Bug catcher. Oh, snap, it's a Beedrill. We haven't seen a Beedrill before. It's the evolution of Kakuna, level 10. It's really weak right now. If I were to box a Pokemon, I would box um my uh also he's bug type. Actually, no, he's poison type, so this is gonna be really bad for this, but who cares? Who cares? He's Beedrill. I bet you he dies in one hit. Oh no. He's gonna die in two hits, but Oh no, he's using the fury against me. Oh yeah. But um I, I would box Butterfree, because Butterfree is very weak, and he's not going to get any stronger from, like, from Brock onwards. He's, it all goes downhill from there. I mean, granted, he knows Confusion. It's very good for then, but now we know Razor Leaf, which is really powerful. Uh, by the way, you may be wondering, like, uh, so if the critical hit chance was, like, really broken in this game, what about later games? Well, basically... Uh, from gold onwards, every attack has a 6.25% chance of getting a critical hit, no matter what. A move with a higher chance of critical chance, uh, critical hits, um, a move with a higher chance of critical hits, uh, does indeed, uh, increase it. Uh, so, it goes up to 12.5%, then 25%, then 33.3%, and then 50%. Uh, those are the five stages. Uh, so it, it basically uses the next stage up. Using things such as focus en oh, using attacks such as focus energy or die hit or just having like things that increase your critical hit chance will increase it by more levels depending on what. But the maximum critical hit chance that you can actually get in later games is 50%. And it's regardless of your speed. Uh, so yeah. And I think that's a better system. And I also think... I also think uh, competitive play basically wants, as in like when you play competitions, it basically wants you to stop. Uh... You know what? Actually, I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna uh, not use Bubba because how far away is Bubba from the next level? 698. That's two Pokemon or so, but that's plenty or so for the last Pokemon in this list. I would want to use Shrewder, but he's going to. Oh, I may as well send him out. Send him out. 
Send them out. Uh, so anyway, yeah. There's an ether in there, by the way. That's your hidden item of the day. So anyway, yeah. Anyway, we're gonna keep on going, because... Yeah! Because why not? Is a third-gen Pokemon. Uh, there's obviously a trainer at the bottom there, isn't it? Yep. Thank you, game. Yeah, if you fall at all, you gotta fight this guy. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Oh, I just realized what I'm doing right now. Yeah, I'm a smart... I'm a, little, I'm a little bit hesitant, but I want to leave the evolution until the end of the part. Uh, so Shrewd is level 15, which is a bit of a thing. Uh, Bugaboom, please don't die. Uh, so anyway, yeah. Oh! Oh, gosh! Oh! Oh! I wasn't expecting that. Holy snap! Oh my gosh! Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Oh. Sleep powder. Work your magic. That actually was pretty effective. If I say so myself. <laughs> okay, now I can use confusion and peace. And that's going to get past this really high defense, isn't he? What, he woke up! He woke up! Sleep powder. Oh, thank goodness. Sleep powder worked again. Oh, gosh. He just woke up right away. I was just like, what? <laughs> oh, okay. I'm a little bit worried. Yeah, because I, I... I'll stuff you, confusion. Oh, that was that was terrifying beyond belief. I there is another I could dang it, dang it. Ah, <laughs> oh, gosh. So yeah, there is another hiker, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, however, we do have a lot of uh, flying types, which is nice. Uh, for example, I believe this is a bug catcher. I didn't actually read what he said. I was looking away. Uh, but anyway, here's a bug catcher. He catches bugs for a living. I'm gonna eat chocolate. Yeah, no, I'm still going on that. He's got a canopy. He's level 20! What? <laughs> I'm sorry, but why? He's level 20! <laughs> I, I don't care, I'm just gonna peck him. But seriously, you'll be so much better if you had Butterfree by this point. These people have the capability to have fully evolved their Pokemon and instead stick to the worst Pokemon in the game by base stats. Have we seen Venonat before? I don't think we have. Venonat has a pretty good moveset, I'd say, and, you know, pretty well-rounded stats, but... Eh, uh, it's just Venonat. If Venonat got a Mega Evolution... I, I'm, by the way, I'm recording this on the 28th of September. I know X has been out for like a couple of weeks now. But, I'm recording this way in advance. I haven't played it. Um, but I do wanna... I do wanna s s ask... Would Venomoth, the evolution of Venonat, have a Mega Evolution? I would... I would think, because that would make Venonat a bit of a, a bit of a more wanted Pokemon. Uh, by the way, um, there are three more trainers. Oh, crap, I think. Oh, yeah, mirror mode, mirror mode, boom! What now? What now? <laughs> oh, I just wanted to do that. Tickle it. Oh, actually, I'm okay. Diglett. Diglett, what are you going to use? Oh, crap! Growl. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Oh, no! What? <laughs> oh, I, I, I would like to hit him with a dig, but I don't know how this is going to work if you keep... There you go. Yeah, I killed you with dig. <laughs> I'm absolutely loving Mirror Move. I, I do want to consider... The problem with Firo is that there are better Pokemon by the end of the game. He is still pretty good. I, I should really start using Growl and... Oh, it's a Poison Sting. Nah. Fury Attack. Fury Attack. I'm not dealing with that. Oh, it's not going to kill him. It's gonna, oh, no, it's good. 
And now he's called Sandrew. Hey. Yo, Sandrew. True. I think so. I've got so many Pokemon that are stronger than these guys. Scratch. Yeah, I've got so many Pokemon that are stronger. Wow, that was actually very weak. That was surprisingly weak. <laughs> actually, Sandra has some pretty good defense, I'll tell you that. Um, but yeah, these these guys are ridiculously weak, and I'm not 100% sure why, considering the beginning of the game. You know what, actually? This guy, their Pokemon are five levels higher than Brock's. I'm doing this after fighting two gyms later. I should not be fighting... I'm basically stuff right now, aren't I? Yeah. Because I don't want to. I don't want to level up. Um. Oh, I want. I want to. I wanted to level up. Uh. Ivy saw in the next battle because then it will be the last battle, and that would make a great conclusion to the part. But I guess not. I can't really do anything about. It. Also, Sandshrew. Jeez, you're taking a while to get a level. I guess, I guess I've only sent him out in like four battles. Uh. We'll use a vine web. Unless if, unless if it's hubris just talking, and yeah, it's good. It's good! Yay! Actually, I, I'm safe here. But if I, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna switch out to, um... I'm not, I'm not gonna switch out to Ivysaur, but I just wanna see how much experience he needs for the next... Oh, come no! I didn't wanna hit, oh! Ah, oh, I didn't want to hit that. It's not very effective, I know. Oh, actually, it's okay. Razor Leaf. Oh, I didn't want to switch him out. Hey, what's the odds that it's a critical hit? 92%, of course. Actually, yeah, I'll be okay. Um... I will switch out to, uh, uh, not to a bikini. Um, I will switch out to a Shruder. He's giving you the thumbs up, because he likes you a lot. Um, I know he's not going to really do much, but I just want to switch him out just for a second, because I think I'm all set, basically. Yep, I'm all good. Raise a leaf. Okay. <laughs> Freaking out because I sent out a Pokemon I did not want to level up. Yeah, that's a bit of an odd one. <laughs> oh, gosh. Jeez. I, I panic over the, the smallest things. Ah, oh, finally Shruda leveled up. Shruda. Shruda. What's that? Okay. So anyway, uh, I'm going to switch Shruda with... <laughs> Oh my gosh, Bugaboo! <laughs> that was the most frightening thing ever! <laughs> oh my gosh, no, okay, anyway, by the way, jump over here. Because that's actually where you're supposed to go. Don't you dare condescend- what? Uh, you can still jump down though, but... This is the only way you can actually get here, so yeah. Uh, this person has one Meowth! It's kind of high leveled. It's actually pretty high level. Anyway, to make a satisfying end to the part, one, we're gonna use Razor Leaf because it's Meowth, it's very weak. And two, I timed that perfectly. Well, level 32, I mean, no. what could happen? Yes, Ivysaur evolved into a Venusaur. Venusaur has a base speed stat of 80, meaning that he will basically critical hit uh, with Razor Leaf all the time. Uh, by the way, Charizard does get uh, the full evolution of Charmander, by the way. Does get uh, Slash, which has an increased critical hit chance. Uh, and, you know, he's, he's faster than 64 base speed. Base speed, by the way. The, the, the on-screen speed right now is not actually base speed, it's your current speed. Uh, however, yeah, Venusaur's base speed is 80. Generally, that's like what speed you would get if you caught it at level 50, I believe, or something like that. I don't know. Um, but yeah, 
Look at his stats! It's ridiculously high! Uh, maybe that's because, you know, he's quite a few levels above, like, Birdo. But, like, yeah. Your starter is one of the best Pokemon in the game. And yes, Venusaur is one of my final Pokemon. One of my final six. Uh, by the way, you can access this river here. I just want to note that. Uh, but we're on Route 10 right now. Uh, if you want to catch a Voltorb, uh, or a Sandshrew, now is probably the best chance. Well, I guess you could catch a Sandshrew before, though. Hey, it's good now. Uh, anyway. Ah, oh, it's probably the one left. Actually, no. No, you know what I can do right now? I, I, know, I know I'm supposed to be ending the part right now. Uh, where is it? Uh... Got them! There you go, there's a super potion. <laughs> oh, I just wanted to get that done. Anyway, with that, I'll see you kids next time when we'll head on to the rock tunnel. It's just right there. See you kids then! Do 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 Oh gosh, lost my voice.